I'm Rob Schultz from the Hull County Weed Control and we're here today to uh, talk about calibration of spray equipment and uh, why it's important and uh, some steps we can go through to uh, calibrate our equipment properly to get the, uh, the right amount of pesticide out on the ground, uh, out on your target. Um, we're going to be looking at uh, three different uh, rigs today, spray equipment rigs today. Um, one is a boom sprayer with uh, tips, spray tips on it and another is a boomless nozzle spray equipment and uh, the next one is a pump up sprayer. Um, so we'll be looking at these three different uh, types of spray equipment and uh, calibrating them. Okay, now I've changed into my uh, PPE, personal protective equipment, uh, to do some calibration out here on a piece of spray equipment. And so some of the tools that uh, you need to calibrate spray equipment are a measuring device, some paint or marking flags, uh, a spray tip tester, a bucket, ounce container that measures in ounces, a stopwatch, um, you know, a calculator, and even a manufacturer's guide that tells you a little bit about the tips that you might be using or um, tips that may be needed for the output that you might want to run because you might want to run 10 gallons per acre in some applications or in other applications you might need to run 40 or 50 gallons per acre. So in that case, just increasing pressure will not get you that output. If you need to increase your output that much, then you need to change spray tips or go to a bigger boomless nozzle or something on that sort. Just pressure alone will not increase your output that much. One of the first things you need to do is figuring speed. And so the formula that I like to use is speed equals distance in feet times 60 divided by the time in seconds times 88. And so I just measure out uh, 88 feet and then I uh, calculate in seconds the time it takes me to go 88 feet. And that'll figure out your miles per hour on that. There are many calibration uh, uh, formulas out there to use. And so the one that I kind of like to use is uh, gallons per acre equals the gallons per minute times 5940 divided by miles per hour times the width of your spray operation. And so, uh, so first things first, you know, like we said before, was figuring out the speed in miles per hour and the width of your spray booms, how many inches you're taking in a spray width. And then we're figuring out the gallons per minute and you can plug all those in and then you know exactly how many gallons per acre you are doing with the particular uh, load and so you know um, how many how many acres you're doing and then how many uh, um, how much product to put in the tank for the application so now we will uh, uh, start up the motor and we will uh, do some calibration on uh, the tips here and do some testing um, at this rate here it's going to give you uh, uh, gallons per minute on this uh, McKinsey spray tip tester and so we're going to be measuring the uh, gallons per minute on some of these tips to uh, uh, see that. Okay now we moved over to our uh, right away application um, boomless nozzles. There's three different size nozzles on this uh, particular uh, piece of spray equipment and uh, this is a very popular popular piece of equipment with these nozzles. So we'll be calibrating probably the, uh, the bottom one there. It's a Boom Buster 110 and, um, and so uh, we still need the uh, bucket to catch the product in, the water. Um, we're going to measure it out in ounces. We're going to need a stopwatch to uh, calculate it. And I think we should be able to go for about 30 seconds on that. And uh, we need our calculator and we will be again using the uh, gallons per acre formula but we're going to figure gallons per minute and so uh, you know the uh, gallons per acre is the uh, gallons per minute times 5940 times your uh, divided by your uh, 
miles per hour times your width. And, um, and so uh, we'll be uh, starting this machine up and uh, doing a little calibration on it. Now we have caught the uh, spray mixture or the water in this particular instance for 20 seconds. And we're measuring it out in fluid ounces. And it is 64 ounces per 20 seconds. And so if you take that times three, you come up with 192 ounces. And if you divide that by 128, you come up with 1.5 gallons per minute. And so that's when we uh, are needing that for our formula, our gallons per acre formula. And then um, the other part of our formula is the spray width. And so we measured that out and we're taking a 12 foot spray width there, which is 12 times 12 is 144 inches. And you need that in inches in your gallons per acre formula. And so gallons per minute figured up to be 1.5. And so on the bottom side of your formula, you went five miles an hour, which we figured that out by our uh, speed formula. And you're 144 inches in width. And so when we divide that 8910 by 720, that gives us a 12.37 gallons per acre we are putting down with this particular boom. So we know that this 300 gallon tank will do 24.25 acres along the roadside spraying with this particular nozzle. And so now you know how to do it on the one, you go back and you do it on the other two nozzles and continue on uh, calibrating those and, um, and get your uh, appropriate uh, gallons per acre for those particular nozzles. So the next tool we're gonna calibrate here is a hand sprayer. And this can be a, a backpack sprayer. This formula can be used for um, a hand sprayer off of a truck. Um, many different things it can be used for. And so one of the first things we're going to do is uh, measure off an 18 and a half feet by 18 and a half feet square. And, uh, and then we will be uh, spraying that out and recording our time. And then we will come back and catch that amount in time in the uh, ounce um, container. And that will tell us uh, gallons per acre that we are putting down with our hand sprayer. So it took me 55 seconds to spray this 18 and a half by 18 and a half square. So now we'll catch this water for 55 seconds and see what we come up with for gallons per acre out of this hand sprayer. This methodology works because the test area, 18.5 square feet, is 1 128th of an acre. A U.S. gallon is 128 fluid ounces. So the fluid ounces of spray required to test the treat area, therefore, is equivalent to the gallons of spray output that would be applied to a full acre, provided the operator maintains a consistent pattern of spray output and spray coverage. So figuring up, we did 24 ounces out of that 55 seconds. Um, that means I'm putting on 24 gallons per acre then you would know that, uh, and go back and figure how many acres or tenths of an acre that you're gonna do with this particular hand sprayer, then you'll be able to figure out how many ounces of herbicide or insecticide to put in this particular hand sprayer. So in conclusion here today, we have uh, calibrated these uh, three pieces of equipment to do some spraying with. And uh, in the long run, you know, calibration is very important just to get the uh, proper amount of herbicide out there or insecticide, whatever product you might be using. Um, you know, if you under apply, 
you could be creating a resistance uh, in a weed or, or something like that. And if you over apply a herbicide, you're putting out too many dollars per acre out there. And so, um, you know, just creating um, equipment that works properly and puts out the proper amount of herbicide or insecticide or uh, whatever product you might be using is, uh, is very beneficial. Um, and so calibration is uh, um, a great thing to do, if not every year, if not maybe even two or three times a year, depending on um, if you do repairs on your uh, equipment and that type of thing, new tips, uh, new pumps, um, you know, various things, uh, recalibration would be a great thing to do to make sure you're still putting out the proper gallons per acre that you would like to put out. And then you would know exactly how many gallons per acre you're putting out and how many acres that tank fill will do so you know exactly how much herbicide, insecticide, whatever, to put into that tank to get it, uh, get that rate you need out on the uh, targeted area that you would like to cover.